What's up guys? I know Outdoorsman's Paradise here. We're going to show you how easy it is to set up the Eno One Link hammock with the bug fly and the tarp. And we're going to show you using a guy that's never used one, never seen one set up. So here we go. Lee? Before I set this on video, this son of a buck up, I need to change boots. Well, change your boots then. Okay, so now Lee has his work boots on and he's ready to go. Now, Lee, have you ever set up one of these hammocks? Silver? Ever. Never. Never. So Lee's going to set this hammock up with a little bit of guidance from me. I'll tell him how to do it. So, so here we go. Hey, you got to set your beard down, bud. Uh, it'd be a little rough. All right. So go ahead and grab your bag and that one. Really? What's it? What's that say? I will tell you the contents when I get them laid out. One line of one link hammock shelter. That's it. Okay. I have the hammock itself. The stake. And I'm assuming one of these is the uh, net covering. There's a bug net. Bug net. The first thing you want is your uh, your atlas straps. Which is most likely. What does it say on the bag? It does not say, but I'm assuming this is it. That looks like it. I thought it said. My apologies. The proper way to undo this is there you go, except for you got two, the other one's on the ground. Well, this is one, the other one's waiting. Fine job. Then you open this one. That'll work. Now you gotta wrap those around the tree. I've never done this. Remember. No, you're, right. you know, you're fine. Just uh, do it what you think you should. And that might show how easy it is. <laughs> Beer was involved. <laughs> now you, uh, yeah, go ahead and slip that through the loop. Actually, this is a pretty easy setup. You want those higher, though. You probably, uh, but you want to find the center of the tree. About head height. Is what I've found. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I have a double tree here. You're not allergic to ivy, are you? We'll find out in a couple days. <laughs> All right. That's pretty high. That's above your head. How tall do you think you are? Right, now you want to grab your hammock. Which is the hammock itself here. No, that's not the hammock. That's your... That's the rain fly. Okay, at this point, I have two bags, neither mark. It says on the tags, on the handles. Double nest hammock. And... Yeah, show, the, bug show those, would you? Yes. Double nest hammock. In your right hand there, yeah. And the guardian bug net. 
That's they it. They look the same. Yeah, about the same size bag. But they are labeled. When you first look at them, you don't think that they're marked. I will say the opening strap looks uh, difficult, but it just slides right open. Okay? That's part of that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Grab your carabiner. There you go. Yeah, now leave that rope alone. Leave that rope alone. Trust me. That's something that I did that's extra. We'll show it here in a minute. Just grab your carabiner. Okay, not knowing what a carabiner is. The end of the metal clip, the climbing hook thing. Okay. That's the carabiner. Okay. Hook that on your atlas strap. At this point, I'm just going to find a... I'd go a little higher. Yeah, about in there. I'm just going to find a spot. To sit up. There you go. You can always adjust it. That's the nice thing about the atlas straps. You can... Okay. Same thing on that end. I'm wrapped here. Did you want that left? Yeah, I want that left. Okay. Right. Well, so you might have to, you might see. Now, hold on, let me back up. See, now he's, that's my fault because I told him where to stick it, so. That ain't right. <laughs> Put it close. <laughs> oh, goodness. Put it closer to the end. There you go. Still, at this situation. We'll put it on the end. You do have an edit program, right? Yeah, but I don't use edit. I like raw footage. Okay. What I've done is pulled it taut. I wouldn't pull it that tight. That was just a setup. I'm not sure where you want me to set it. Tell me from there. I just want to make sure I'm connected. You're connected. I'd, uh, I'd let it down on both ends. Both ends. Okay. These trees are really far apart. Okay, Do me a point, favor and uh... At that point I'm at the uh, last notch. Yeah, how tall are you? Uh, five foot seven. Okay, uh, stand, stand straight out with both arms. Touch the tree. Now look at your left arm and kind of go over from there and so on and so forth. So you can see just how far apart the trees are. Okay. So you're five seven, so we'll just call that five and a half feet. Damn, you're short. Uh, now ste you. step over. There's one. There's, that's two. Go over again. That's three. About four. I would say there's 20 feet apart between these two trees. Oh, at least. That's, uh, yeah. tw there's 20 plus. We are at both ends of the strap. That's really close. The way you have it set right there is not too bad. Now, uh, you want to try to set in it? Is at this point in my setup, does this strap stay across the top? Yes. Okay, now we are on a windy Kansas day. And beer was involved. Now, careful, slow down. Okay, at this point. Well, you're on the ground. I want to tighten it up to the scotch. You want your uh, butt to be pretty close to the ground when you're sitting at it, just in case you fall. Well, that's actually quite comfortable. Now, carefully, don't poke a hole in my hammock with your boots. My boots? Or out. No, you're fine. Just set them down soft. This is actually quite comfortable. Now, if I was on a warm night, the mosquitoes were out, not a lot of wind, this would be what the net is for, right? Correct. Does it just go over the top, or how does it get? Well, it's a little rough. What you want to do is take one hand and put it in, yeah, like your left hand. Let let your right hand go. 
take your left hand and put your whole arm and everything down in there. Now follow the seam. You see those clips on top? Make sure you make sure you don't lose that seam. Well, the problem is, is I, I think it's a bit tight. Well, you don't have to put it all the way up oh, here. Oh, I thought you meant my whole arm. Okay. No, no. Okay. You just got to get your left hand all the way to the other end. Got it. So you can bunch it up on itself. Okay. But don't lose that seam. No, the seam, seam's on top. Okay. So you lost the seam. No. It's just this windy day. And there's the other opening. It's always windy in Kansas. Alright, now you got your you opening. The south wind. Now go to your carabiner where your hammock's hooked. Don't let go of both ends, but you're going to take your carabiner loose and feed it through that clear to the other end. In other words, you're going to thread your hammock through the bug net. Now this may be difficult in the wind. I've never done it in the wind, but it's usually pretty easy. Right there, now just pull your left arm through. There you go. Okay. Now hook your carabiner back up when you get there. It's more just uh, hanging on to it. It's just a matter of getting used to it. There you go. Now, now you're getting it. Actually, this is really easy. Now you lost your end. Okay, and I am to the end. When you clear the end, you can go ahead and cinch it tight. There's a there's a pull cord or something there on the end. Got it. Same thing on the other end. Okay. Now I'm looking at getting in. I'm wondering how the heck I'm going to get in it. Okay. Okay. You were asking me about that extra piece of rope. Yes. That's something that I added. Normally, your rope would be on top, and it would hook to it with those little clips yeah hold your finger right there those little clips would normally hold on to your ridge line but I have a ridge line on the inside I usually run a double okay. it doesn't say that in the instructions but I would run another ridge line on top my question is how do you get inside this closed same way you unzip it so there's a zipper there in the front luckily the zippers on this side Yeah, Lee's never done this before, so okay. he might go ass over kettle. So make sure you—you uh, you might want to spread your thing apart there. Yes. When you first reach in, you want to make sure that you're grabbing the front side and not the back. Right. Don't knock your beer over. <laughs> And from there, you can easily zip it back up. You're close enough to the ground, and that's about where I like to swing. It's pretty close to the ground. You've got enough slack. You can, yeah, you're doing it just perfect. I would say it's easier if you reach through and grab the outside strap, yep. the uh, uh, zippers in the inside, until you get to the bottom, and then the inside zipper is easier at that point. Right. Now, this is your first time with a hammock. Yes, so, I have never been in a hammock. I see how you're uh, you're straight in line with your straps. Yes. Try to rearrange yourself so you're sort of diagonal, and you'll lay out flat. It's comfortable. Yeah, you might could scoot your butt down a little bit, but at least me. Depends how you sleep. I mean, everybody sleeps different. Well, I've actually got a little ridge that I have my head on, which is higher than the rest of my body like a pillow. Right, and I carry a pillow, pillow with me, but if, uh, you're still, you're still a little straight. I'm very comfortable. What do you think? And you've never laid in a hammock. No, I'm very comfortable. And then I could lay
blade like this. So you think we, we turned you on to a hammock? Yeah, this is cool. And I love the bug net. Oh, bug net's a must in the summertime. At least in Kansas anyways. Think you can sleep there? Oh heck yeah. Alright. See we didn't even put up the rain fly, but the rain fly is just as simple. It takes a little longer, but it's easy to put up. Perfect. So, would you buy one? Excuse me, I was uh, taking a nap. <laughs> Are you ready to buy one? Oh yes. Alright, that's all we needed. So there it is. The Eno double nest hammock with the Guardian bug net put up by somebody that's never put one before and he did a fine job with a little bit of uh, teaching and it's really self-explanatory it is it is you really can't go wrong like I said you're only a few inches off the ground which that's where I like to be I mean you're close to, to the ground what I like is too is this internet you can pull it over for a little bit more oh yeah a little bit of windbreak Windbreak and also a little bit more uh, light break. Right. Yeah. And these, uh, the nice thing is these, these Atlas straps do not stretch. I've, uh, I've used them several times now. And these Atlas straps do not stretch. I guarantee if he went to sleep right now when he woke up in the morning his butt would still be three inches off the ground. So, perfect. Well done, Lee. Now all you gotta do is learn how to put it all back in the bag. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. How hard is it to get out? Actually, I don't think it's gonna be that hard. It's very comfortable. I, I, I do see the hardest part is finding the zipper. Right, the zipper is a little rough. But once you feel for it, Well, you're a beginner. Once, once you get a little uh, hammock once use under your belt, you won't worry about falling out. And then I'm never getting out of one? That's it. That's not bad for an old man. Yeah, very old man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. So, so would you recommend one? Never been in one. Very comfortable. I was ready to take a nap. There you go. That's all it is. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we hope to give you another review of something on something even better, maybe worse. Who knows? It's a review. Take care. Bye.